We went, went to Yosemite. Yosemite. So we went on a family trip. The last time we went on a family trip was in 2014, seven years ago, when we went to Costa Rica. Mm -hmm. So it's time we went on another trip with my family. Mm -hmm. And this time we chose Yosemite. So we decided to vlog part of our trip and bring you guys along with us. So on Friday, we rented a car. We drove up. It was about five hours away from LA and it was a pretty easy drive. So we got a cabin that was outside of Yosemite. We settled in on Friday and started a puzzle and just chilled. So we went to sleep kind of early because Saturday we had a full day. We got up at six. Like we didn't even get up at six here at home, yeah. but it was a jam packed day, big hike day. So we drove into Yosemite and the first thing we did was chill at the valley and we did the Cook's Meadow. It's a very easy walk around. Uh, you get to just see like all the different viewpoints of Yosemite. You get to see El Capitan, and I think we got to see Half Dome. Mm -hmm. I saw people way at the top of Half Dome, and I was like, man, that's a hike. Not doing that one on this trip. Nope. <laughs> After Cook's Meadow, we hiked Lower Yosemite Falls where we got to get a really cool view of the waterfall. It was a super easy hike. I didn't realize that there was like two different waterfalls. Like there's a top one and then there's like a middle area and then there's a bottom one. So yeah. we were at the very, very bottom and we uh, climbed, we like hiked through rocks to get like a super good picture close to the waterfall off the beaten path. Yeah, that was a lot of fun. I kind of like just doing the hike with the rocks, honestly, than just like a pure easy pavement or like, you yeah. know, rocky type of thing. I felt like I was rock climbing and it was an adventure. Yeah, we were trying to avoid falling into the waterfall. <laughs> and it was pretty hot that day, so I honestly wouldn't have mind if I fell into the waterfall. <laughs> it's like in the hundreds. I think it was during a heat wave when we went, so it was very, very hot. <laughs> So after that, we decided to grab some lunch and we headed out to our third hiking location. It was Sentinel Dome. It was about an hour away. So we got to rest a little bit in the car. And when we got there, it was really hot. By this point, it was like two, three in the afternoon. And Sentinel Dome, in the actual hike, there isn't a lot of trees. Mm -mm. So the sun was just beating down on you. We made it to the top of Sentinel Dome. I made it. It's a little bit of a hike on the last end. Yeah, <laughs> Robin did it with us. <laughs> we made it to the top though, it was worth it. Yeah, the views here are pretty dope. So there's the waterfall where we just were. That's the top portion, we were like down here somewhere. After eating, I was like, oh my God. <laughs> Not to mention, we were in a higher elevation. Oh. Um. So, you know, gotta take a lot of breaks. A lot of breaks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I really felt out of shape with this particular hike just because of the elevation, but. And the path wasn't super paved. Like no. you had to climb on rocks and it was like uneven. So it was like kind of hard on the ankles, but the view the was view. worth it. Yes, that hike view, 10 out of 10. You get a 360 view of Yosemite. So you get to see like all the different viewpoints like at Capitan, you get to see Half Dome. You can see the waterfalls. I didn't even yeah. know that there were like multiple waterfalls in the park. So there's like, it's pretty much as far as the eye can see when you're up there. And if you can make it to the very top of the dome, I would recommend it. It was just like a little extra push at the end, but it was cool. It was kind of scary. It was windy. We should talk about the wind. The wind up there, it sounds like a freight train. You can hear it, it goes <laughs> like, I can't even recreate that sound. It, the... For, it reminded me of like a plane flying by. It was very loud yeah. and the wind would come through. Like you can hear it from far away. It yeah. was pretty cool, kind of scary. I was ready to get down and like be done with hiking because I was tired at this point. Yeah, we were both pretty beat. So we hiked back down and then there was a couple of turnouts and viewpoints that we wanted to see. We drove through tunnel view and it was actually pretty cool because at the very end, we got to see, uh, I believe it was Glacier Point or, no, it was the Valley of Yosemite. 
And we got to see a married couple there. They were, they taking, were taking photos. They were taking wedding photos. It was so cute. And I took video of them, even though I don't know who they are. It was just so cute. <laughs> you and every woman there. Literally, they were all congregating there. I should have taken photos of you guys because you guys were all like... It was beautiful. <laughs> so then we headed back home. Uh, our cabin was... It was like a two hour drive because we had driven an hour in and we were staying an hour away from the park. So I would recommend staying inside of the park if you can or closer. An hour was too far away. But yeah. you know, we didn't know. We didn't you know. Live and you learn. <laughs> we didn't know and everything was already booked up yeah. inside of Yosemite. So I think you gotta book like a year in advance or something, mm -hmm. but we'll do that next time. That's a pro tip right there. MT's pro tips. MT. MT, hello. <laughs> <laughs> the day by doing a hike at Mariposa Grove. So they had a, a crazy windstorm that occurred and a bunch of trees fell on a certain part of the grove. So we had to hike to the part where we wanted to start the actual hike and we had no idea. It was our first time doing yeah. it. So they closed the road that leads up to where we wanted to start. But when we started the hike, we didn't know that. No, we started way <laughs> down. We like, didn't know that. So we pretty much hiked up to the spot where the road would have taken us, and that would have begun our hike. And we were pretty beat already from the previous day, yeah. and it was a hot day. And so when we got to the top, we're like, where, where are the sequoias? Yeah, we were pretty disappointed. Um, another pro tip would be to, uh, you know, check with the... <laughs> Check. check with the park ranger check with or... the ranger to see you know what's going on yeah so you don't go on a on a two-hour hike to a road <laughs> yeah yeah i mean we i i get i got to take a pretty awesome picture of you with one of the sequoias that was yeah huge. yeah no it was we only got a little taste of it like i'm not we have to go back and do that because yeah. we just were at the very beginning of it it was like a little taste a little it's taste like taste of it here is a sequoia <laughs> like was pretty sad yeah we were a little i was i was grouchy yeah grouchy hungry tired pollen my feet hurt get the hell out of here <laughs> But I have to say, when we were hiking down, we didn't hike down the actual like pathway. We went down the street, and on the actual street that we hiked down, we got to see some awesome trees. We did. Uh, the the it was paved, so it was an easier hike down, and it wasn't like as windy as the hiking path, like ups and downs. And I got some, some cool pretty, pictures. Yeah, I got some really cool pictures of you in the middle of the road with some trees in the background. They look really cool. You look, you look awesome. Yeah, I posted Great. it on my Instagram. Yeah. But after that, it was lunchtime. My mom had made us some tuna sandwiches. We ate in the car. We scarfed them down because we were so hungry. And we were all pretty tired at this point. So we decided to just take it easy. And we went to the river. Yeah, this was the Merced River. We, we both took hammocks. Mm -hmm. The same hammocks that we took to Electric Forest. And man, it was nice to just lay on those hammocks. Oh, it was so nice. I'm like, this is what I call vacation. Mm -hmm. This is how I like to camp. Yeah. And then we decided to go into the river and geez, it was cold. It was really cold. Yeah. Like, to the... I didn't go in, like I just got my feet wet. Yeah, it but it, even that, I was like, my bones, mm -hmm. they hurt from the cold. It's cold water, it's ice water. <laughs> <laughs> but it felt really nice to just be there. We we're like in a really nice shaded area. There was the a... view was beautiful. There's people swimming in the river. Like Yeah, it was nice. It was a good end to the day. So on the drive back home, this is the one day that I drove, right? And I swear, it's like we saw every animal like <laughs> on the drive on back. the drive home. It's because the, we were driving at a specific time. So we were driving at dusk where all the animals are active. And we saw a bear! Dude, you took out your phone at the perfect time. You had no idea no, that the bear was already there. I was gonna shoot like just the view. Yeah. And then you're like, oh my God, a bear! I was like, oh, record. Like, it was perfect. <laughs> it was so cute. It was like a little cub. Yeah, he was a little guy. He was just like, and he like skipped and did like a little hippity hoppy thing. <laughs> and I was like, so cute. so cute. Yeah. But on the way home, we saw like 
We saw an owl. We saw a vulture that almost flew into our windshields. A squirrel that like started running like alongside of us and just like bolted afterwards. I'm like, what are you trying to do, bro? Are you trying to get ran over or what? Weird. And then there was a dog at the end of the road, like out in the woods. Oh yeah. By a cabin. <laughs> it was weird. This was already like <laughs> late. It was late. We had our high beams on because we couldn't really see anything, and there was just a dog a in dog the middle of the road. Just... It was alright. What are you doing? Back so late, huh? It's all I don't need. I don't need. So again, we left. The drive took an hour to get back. We were all tired when we got home. Fell asleep. Woke up 6 a.m. the next day. It did it all over again. <laughs> And this time, instead of doing any sort of hikes, we rented bikes. Yeah, which I would, hands down, you gotta do it. Uh, another MT. MT tip. Tip. Arrived very early to get those bikes because we were literally like a group or two behind. If we were a group or two behind, we wouldn't have been able to get bikes. Yeah, so we had slim pickings when it came to the bikes because all the bikes were already gone. But definitely that bike ride saved us some time because we would have had to hike up to our next location, which was Mirror Lake. The road was closed. Unless you had a handicap sign, you would have had to hike up to Mirror Lake. Uh, and we actually were able to just ride the bikes, which was amazing. 10 yeah. out of 10. Would recommend. Next time we're taking our own bikes. Yeah, we should. Yeah. We have bikes and we could just ride them up. Yeah, it was. it's just such a nice way to see the park with, without like, you know, your feet dying. <laughs> so much. It takes... So long to walk places. It does. It, it it takes a lot out of you. It does. Unless you're absolutely fit, like you hike all the time, you're running all the time and stuff, you'll do fine. But listen, these little legs can only move so much. Yeah. I need a bike. Get on a bike and then you could actually start the trail afterwards. So save your feet, do yourself a favor, mm -hmm. empty tip right here, number four, five, six, I don't know what number <laughs> this is. Get yourself a bike, get to the destination, and then hike. So yeah, for this day I wore my bathing suit because I knew we were gonna be by the lake and you wore your trunks too. Mm -hmm. So by the time we got up there, we were all ready to go. And then we went in the very cold water again. Water's cold. It's breezy. It's really cold. It's cold for me. Got my Crocs. So as far as we've gone. <laughs> yeah. Very cold. That water had to have been like 40 degrees or something. It was like cold. It's probably the coldest water I've ever been in. I went all the way in. I actually dunked my head into the water. <laughs> Dude. Cold? <laughs> that feels great though. <laughs> it took me a good half an hour to get in. I, I really wanted to, but I was it's not wasn't gonna happen. I just went I got out and laid on the hammock. Yeah, it's it's a type of cold that your body just doesn't get acclimated to it. It just it doesn't. Yeah, so we, we left and uh, during this whole part we got some really cool 360 video. So you'll see it right now throughout the different parts of the vlog yeah we just uh went back down turned into bikes and ate some awesome pizza yum 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 the pizza there is really good it's from this place curry village so we had a pretty chill day got back to the cabin and finished off our puzzle <laughs> that wraps up our trip i feel like we did a lot more like but it just went by so fast and my feet were so tired i was hot tired pollen my feet it was a lot to do, you know, was, coming from quarantine. Yeah, our, our little feet were like, what are you doing? You just get up and go to the restroom and back and well, having me hike 17,000 steps a day, that's too much. That's what our feet sounded like. Okay. But it was a great time. It was a great time with uh, the family. I had an yeah. amazing time with your fam. Me too. Definitely would recommend Yosemite. I want to go back. It's so big. Like, there's just so much to do. You can't do all of it in three days. So, um, definitely we'll be going back there. For sure. We did like a few hikes, and there's over 121 hikes. 
that you could oh, do there. Jesus. Oh Lord. Yeah. Oh Lord. Oh Lordy. Yeah. So we got to go back. <laughs> yeah. We'll, we'll definitely be back. I and we'll take you guys with us again. Mm -hmm. For sure. But hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you guys did, please be sure to leave a like. And we'll catch you guys on the next one. MT. MT out. MT tips <laughs> out. We out. Want to do it, my Sally Hut? Ha, ha, ha.